Welcome to chapter 7 management of working capital. What is management of working capital? Working capital management is nothing but management of short term liabilities and short term assets continuously so that the operations generates cash flow which are sufficient to meet the short term obligations and operational expenses. So working capital management would consume most of the time of finance manager and working capital takes the investment in sizable portion in total asset portfolio. Working capital only basically decides the credibility of an organization as well as the growth of an organization. So if you want to understand working capital management there are two classifications based on value and one based on type. So based on value we have two classifications with regard to working capital one is gross working capital the other one is net working capital let us understand what is gross working capital this is nothing but the overall investment in current assets which can be converted into cash within a period of 1 year so if you have current asset that current asset is called as gross working capital whereas net working capital is nothing but current asset which is greater than current liability so net working capital is basically a difference and this difference can be either positive or negative so net working capital is a difference where current asset and current liability is compared and if current asset is greater than current liability then net working capital is said to be positive and it indicates the company has more resources to pay current liability so they have ability to pay the short term liabilities and if current asset is less than current liability net working capital is said to be negative it means they are unable to pay the short term liabilities so this is about the working capital which is classified based on value based on time also we can have classification of working capital one is permanent working capital This is nothing but minimum investment which is required in current asset to ensure the minimum level of activity. So this is permanent working capital and there is also something called temporary working capital. This is a working capital which is required in addition to the permanent working capital and this will vary so it is called as variable working capital because of its fluctuation nature. so why an organization so should have adequate working capital or what is the importance of adequate working capital see if an organization has very large amount of working capital it means they are carrying idle funds but the thing is working capital investment is not going to come free because investment in large amount of working capital would require funds and that would cost that would carry a cost in the form of interest payment so if you have large amount of working capital you are going to incur huge cost on the interest but if you are going to have inadequate working capital then there is a risk of insolvency the business itself can be closed so what is important is having adequate working capital not only in the short term but also in the long term which is absolutely essential to ensure survival of the business during difficult times and growth during good times